Am I seriously the only white guy here? Black lives really do matter. This week's episode of Filthy Fellas is powered by our good family at Weekend King. You heard that? Who? Eh? Weekend King. They do the most amazing jeans, hoodies, hats, all of that, whatever you can think of. And just by watching today's episode, you can get 25% off weekendking.co.uk and use the code FF25. The link is going to be up at the end of the show. All right, my people, right now you can hear a song in the background that happens to belong to Viba, a company and a family that I'm a part of and everyone here is a part of as well. I want you lot to support this man. Go into the link, watch the video, tell us what you think. It's got scribs on it, it's got skits on it. Obviously, scribs is a filthy fella as well. Viba's going to have a lot of stuff happening this month. Please check it out. Don't know. Oh my God, it's serious. You know what's mad about it, yeah? People are saying that, like, it, what, it may not have been, it could have been a yellow because there was no intent. I think anyone who says that wasn't born with any intent. I think... Like, I feel like that was just... That's so stupid to say. His foot was way high. Yeah. Whether it was accidental or not, it doesn't have to be intentional to be a fucking foul. I'm African. I, know, I understand the challenge. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, come on, Spex. That's what we call a barge. All right, let me put it this way. I was a forward, yeah? I'm not having that as a red. I don't care what anybody's saying, cuz. Do you know what? There's, there's, everyone's got their own sort of opinions on the, on the Mane challenge, yeah? Last time I saw something like that was Eric Cantona. What? The kick in the chest? When you fly kick someone oh, in the crowd. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. I play Sunday League, so... And Saturday League. Yeah, same slut. with me. Football slut. So, I'm used to seeing these kind of challenges. It wasn't that bad. Specs, come on now. <laughs> Honestly, there's Have nothing... you seen how he left the guy? Yeah, but the guy should have come out. You can't be having, no, no, we're not going down this road. Honestly, the keeper shouldn't have come out. So you're saying that's okay? I think the keeper should have got sent off. I'm going to be honest, yeah? I buried my beef. I'm not on that anymore with Liverpool, right? We, me and Liverpool, we're in a good mm. place, yeah? Mm. But I feel like it's Liverpool fans that were saying it's not a red. Mm. Because obviously it's their player, it's their team. Yeah. If they were on the other side of it, so said. let's say, uh, I don't know, Kevin De Bruyne has gone in and just like kicked Mignolet in mm. the face. They'd say it's true. Actually, they might be happy. So a man can do jiu-jitsu. <laughs> in football and it's just calm. He did it, no, but, Po, it's, it's, there's a man like Cantona going to do a kick and there's a man going to challenge for the ball. I think only because his studs connected with his jaw, that's what made it look worse. But I have to, I've got to admit, I think Mane had every right to go for the ball. He's a hungry striker, you've got to give him credit for that. And he weren't looking at the keeper. Yeah. His vision was on the ball. So in yeah. theory, cool. I don't think Mane ever wanted to do that. No, definitely not. Should have been a goal. So Mane's uh, red card shouldn't have been a red card. Edison should have been sent off and he should have been given a goal for it. 100%. 100%. The keeper should be coming out. Okay. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Would you put your face there? Would you put your face there? Never. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. If, if it, the shoe was on the other foot, they would be like, it's a red, it's a red, it's a well, red. If the shoe was on the other face, yeah. Kind of <laughs> exactly. It's the truth, it's, it's the truth though. The like, shoe I, was... I feel like my man looks really beat up. Um, I feel sorry for Did he have to have stitches? Because his face looked... Bro, he had stitches. You ain't seen the pic. It's nil-nil. Man ain't getting battered. Or what was it? One-nil or it whatever one nil. it was. Yeah? Yeah. They're in the game because it's not... He ain't even that kind of player. No, I agree with everything being said, but... He's kicked man in the head. We've still got pundits thinking that it should have been a yellow. We've got, we got pundits. Chris Sutton. Yeah, Chris Sutton. Wow. Chris Sutton. What a... Oh. Said it was an accident. And it should be rescinded. <laughs> really? Klopp's teams can't defend. That's the issue, isn't mm. it? Like, it doesn't... Like, red card or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, as in... Klopp's teams are basically relying on outscoring the opposition. I think it's Guardiola, though. Isn't it? Why Liverpool on top? Um, when, when Mane got sent How off. can you be on top if you're 1-0 down? I just don't even... I, do you know what? They were in the game. They were doing their thing. No, they weren't on top. On top would suggest that they were controlling the game at that time. And I don't on think top. City were... It's not like City have like the most resilient defence, but Liverpool didn't... I think they had one chance. I can't remember exactly no, they... what it was. They had one chance. It was a really mm. good chance as well. Salah, Salah, Salah yeah, had yeah, a really yeah. good chance. Yeah. Mane put the ball through. Yeah, yeah, so that was a good chance. But were they on top? You might go buy a bang 5 nil, because it don't matter what, what happens, cuz. So, they... No. get me? You lose 5 nil. what does it matter, cuz? Huh? You gotta kind of look at your career and say, Ra, what's going on? Considering Man City's form coming up to the game, exactly. it weren't fantastic. Oh, yeah, it wasn't, but they were winning games. They were still winning. They, they were... look solid. They look solid. And without Coutinho, there is no key to unlock the door. 
Even with Marnie on the pitch, it would have been 4-2. Everyone was saying the referee ruined the game. There's only one player that ruined that game. One player. Mm. And that was Sadio Mane. Like, he was the one that put the foot there. He was the one that got the red card and left his team in a weaker position. And Liverpool can't defend. So as soon as it was game over. But that weren't because of the referee. How can you use the fact that you got a man sent off for conceding four more goals? Losing the game, you might have a little half-hearted argument. Of like, course. You know what? We didn't have that extra man. They overran us in the middle or whatever. Losing four more goals, that's... It's... Listen, Liverpool just weren't doing the basics. Like, you weren't doing the basics defend of defending. Well. Yeah, but there's... There's not being great at defending, and then there's the basics as a football team. You, they weren't doing the basics, bro. Mendy, mm. they made Mendy look so world class, it's unbelievable. And he's good, don't get me wrong, he was banging for Monaco. Mm. But he's down the left, he's hugging the touchline. Mm. Bro, he whipped in about 15 balls that day. I can't lie, I'm not trying to cast Liverpool on the net, boy, because them scousers are horrible. They got Craig's number, and they were. What? Big man, what one? They got Craig's number, they got Mitch's number, they were phoning Mitch, they were cussing Mitch. Blood, Mitch's number, literally, he tried to cuss man from Liverpool and his whole life turned for the worst, cuz. My man was suicidal, he had pills beside him. He's trying to phone Leon to be like, Leon, can you help me? I'm looking at him like, bro, Leon ain't trying to help you, let's be real. Oh, I'm not on Mitch, it. you were the dead, cuz. 100%. Liverpool's defence is shabby at best. It's poor. Anyway, do you know what I'm saying? So, that was always going to be a high scoring match. It's just whether Liverpool could score as many as Man City did. Liverpool can't defend. Liverpool ain't got no defence, bro. They need someone like Babel. Who's got the best attack in the Premier League? How can you have the best attack? You've only got one guy up there, Kane. Exactly. That's all. No. Exactly. No. We've got one guy. Kane we've is... got Jesus. We've got God. Like. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. It's... Kane is not. Kane is not God. Kane is the devil. Ain't Kane the devil? Kane is the devil. How's Kane the devil? Kane is the devil. No. When I used to watch wrestling, he used to come out, lights go off, and he used to just talk slam and two on everyone. Exactly. That's what, how could that be God? Listen, do you know how potent their attacking f like front five is? Is it better than Liverpool's? Yes, yes. Um, indivi Liverpool's indiv Liverpool. individually as players, yeah. they're better than Liverpool. No, li obviously Liverpool have this free flow attacking football yes. that no one else has, right? Yeah. But it doesn't matter because Man City proved that with the quality they have with those kind of players mm -hmm. against the runner play, mm, one quick through ball with the left foot from, from Kevin De Bruyne, Aguero's. On. Did you see how Aguero took that? Yeah. I can't lie to you. If Man City get it right, we're all fucked. Yeah, yeah. City gets, <laughs> City, oh, get, fuck. City gets certain things right. It's curtains, cuz. Fucking. There's no point talking about gurung, 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 gurung. Because them and they're never going to play for him. Just get over oh, it. But everyone it. else. Mm. Oh, bro, man. Bernardo Silva. Sterling was. Sterling was watching it from the heavens, cuz. Liverpool fans shouldn't be. T I, I wouldn't be excited if I was you, man. I'd be sitting there literally upset. Yeah. Your best playmaker's upset. He don't want to be there no more. Turns up to the training ground, don't want to talk to fans and sign stuff. That's done. You got Marnie, he's out now with a red card. What is left? Sturridge? I didn't even realise Oxlade, <coughs> Alex Oxlade Chamberlain was even playing. I have put my hands up. I was wrong, Leon. You is so dead, you don't understand. How do you run and leave the ball? No other player in Premier League history has ever lost 4 0 for two different teams. Really? Yeah, no other player. So, congratulations, Ox. Well done for you. You didn't bro. lose 4 0 in second, it was actually 5. But Oh, yeah. But I, I hear what you're saying. No, no other player's done that either. I'm just telling you where it is. I go out there now. I'll play. I'll be six. I'm better than Oxford. Don't tell me nothing. <laughs> I can't believe you said we beat Arsenal. You wouldn't say that, would you? Just you just signed for Liverpool from Arsenal, who you brought you up. Just stay away from the question. Just, just stay away. Don't even answer it, bro. Come like the Feds, G. No comment. Yeah, Mourinho's really been a pussy from day one, anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Arsene Wenger grips your jacket. You did nothing. Wear the same jacket week after. So Mourinho's not a nothing. Nah. nah. Um, yeah, I feel like Hughes is though. I feel like Hughes, if it came down to it, I can imagine him getting fucking dirty. Yeah, I like I like Hughes. I like him. He's always he's always mad. You don't see him laughing. He's always mad. Which other manager would would even square up to him, let alone want it with Mark Hughes? Let me think of the manager. No, Jose's not having it. Can he back down for Wenger? From you're backing down for yeah, a man that's sixty it. plus. You're just. I don't know. I feel like Klopp, Klopp's not a Klopp's a madman. You know. Welsh managers not the guys to play with. Well, 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 well. Let me come in and say something. I'm not. I was at Chelsea when Mark Hughes was there. Is it? And fam, it's long. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why it's long. Because no. one of these fights is the width of my whole body, cuz. Wow. And anybody who knows Mark Hughes or seen Mark Hughes, like pitch side or whatever, or this, that, and the other, knows exactly what I'm chatting about. 
Well, you just on stuff. Yeah, he's man. On, he's on stuff. Bro, you think he would have? You would have think he would have chased shit to like like Graham Sooners or Dal Gleish and them, man. Them man will slap you up, Mourinho. Nah. Even Conte. Conte, Conte will bang stuff. him. Yeah, hundred percent. Conte will Definitely. bang you up because Conte's got that mad leap as well. Now he can, he jumps in the air. He's got mad athleticism. Mm -hmm. Mourinho, you ain't. I'm not seeing you slide on your knees for years, bro. Mourinho's like that. Mourinho's dirty in these tactics. It's just typical, like he's just a proper like. like he's not. He's not going to come to fight, but he will throw shade and do like yeah. really catty teenage girl kind of crap. Yeah, he's a wife. He's like he's like a wife, isn't he? I'm That's what I think he is. That route. He's a wife. But. Jose probably went over there on some, okay, look, I've heard you're a bad boy, but I'm going to test it because there's bare witnesses. I don't reckon if that was in the tunnel, Jose would have done that. Ramsey punched Van Persie in the face when they were both for Arsenal. Facts. Full blown facts. Most men, even if they can't fight, they'll fight you. Marino's accepted that he's, a, he's, he's not an alpha. He's true. He's not. He's, he's not. not an alpha. No. He, he knows there's certain games where you may be able to throw your weight about, but in the big leagues, you stay in the technical area, bro. Mourinho always has excuses. Always! That's but, what I like about him. You know, but he's clever like that, though. Mm. Like, and he takes the attention off of the team. Like, Mourinho, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Chupa Moting banged two goals. Allow it, Mourinho. There's no excuses, Had, had you heard of him before that match? Yeah, yeah. I hadn't. Chupa. So Chupa Moting. How have you heard of him? I I've, I've seen him. I've seen him on FIFA. It's, it's a like Chupa Moting. Oh, my days. It's a trap. <laughs> It's a super mad thing. Do you like see a, his hair as well? He's like a dead Pokemon fan. But if Man United play to win and Stoke play to draw, that means Stoke achieve what they were meant to achieve. That means you got outdone by Mark Hughes. So that's why you're upset. And also, I feel like Mourinho should show a bit more respect, respect. to Mark yes. Hughes because yes. he is a Man U legend as well. And a Chelsea legend. That's what I'm saying. He don't show respect to so, anyone. To yeah, anyone. You Mourinho, got to. Come on, man. Yeah, fix yourself up, bro. Do you know who Alexis Sanchez is to you, man? He's fucking royalty. Yeah, that's they, treason, what you're doing. They're in their feet. That is feelings. treason. That's high treason. That's high court treason. Mm, mm, mm. A man bagged 30 goals last year for you, mm. got something like 19 assists, mm. and then you have the audacity, the, the, the mere goal to boo him. Sanctimonious pricks. Why? Because if you're Alexis Sanchez in that position, you're moving. Don't tell me otherwise, Spec, you're moving. Who does Alexis Sanchez think he is? Right. That's what I want to know. He went, huh? to go, he went to go Man City, though. I understand. I don't burn you, innit? Simple. Don't let it come out then, innit? Simple. That's true. Yeah, do your business. Uh, you don't hear Biggie say bad boys move in silence, cuz. You should have had confetti yeah. as he came out. The minute you saw him on the sus bench, you lot should have pulled out. Women, the girls should have got their tits yeah. out with Sanchez pictures on them. Yeah. It, there should have been madness going on. Party, on the big screen, pictures of his, like, videos of his old amazing goals. Welcome home, Sanchez. He is what you need. I was booing. Were you there? No. You just booed in front of your TV? Of course. Right, yeah. <laughs> I booed him. Seriously, it, anyone that booed him at the Emirates needs a slap. All of you need a slap. So you say you don't feel like they're within their rights to, they're within their rights to, to boo? After the season he had last season? Why would they boo him? What, because he wanted to go with Man City and... and yeah, because he's on his bitch right. Man City are top of the league right now, bro. If I could transfer clubs, I would, I'm considering it now. I want to become a neutral fan, but I can't because I've tattooed it on my fucking skin. So if I want to leave as a fan, imagine how a player feels. Imagine Chamberlain saying, I don't want to be here. Chamberlain! Arsenal isn't a football club. Okay. It's not, it's a social experiment. Yes, v valid point, very I valid. I think it is some kind of test to see how long they can dangle the carrot in front of supporters without oh, so giving them any real success and see how long these people can support them for. So is it like a hypnotic test? It like, is. Or like a mind it's control? Like, it's like the Illuminati. the Truman Show. It's the Truman Show. That is it. Yeah. So Arsenal aren't a real football club and neither are the fans because it's some of the things... It's Wow. Bruv? Arsenal FC hashtag Truman Show.